Hello beautiful friends. Welcome to Julia Kitchen with Chef Yasmin. Today's recipe is this amazingly delicious healthy quinoa salad with pan-fried cauliflower, some roasted vegetables, and the tomato vinaigrette. It's absolutely delicious. I think you'll love it. Before we get started, Please be kind and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, your likes to this video is very much appreciated. Thank you. All of my ingredients are prepped. The first thing I want to do is toast the quinoa. I'm using an organic quinoa, but you could use whatever type you have. I like to toast the quinoa for about two minutes or so to bring out that beautiful nutty flavor. You can certainly skip this step, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference in the overall flavor. To this I season with salt and freshly ground black pepper. You could leave out the black pepper if you don't like it. Porcini powder is amazing in this recipe. It adds a lot of umami flavor to the broth. Add in some garlic and fresh herbs. I like to use boiling water to cook the quinoa. This prevents it from overcooking. Give it a nice stir. Taste for flavor and adjust as needed. Cover and allow it to cook for about 14 to 15 minutes. For the roasted carrots, I like to peel and thinly slice two carrots. You can use more if you prefer. Thinly slicing is going to allow it to cook fast in the oven. I'm going to add the carrots to a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. One bunch of asparagus is plenty. I just leave them whole and cut off the rough stalks. Add it to the tray along with three cloves of garlic, peeled and roughly chopped. I'm prepping quite a bit of dill. Some of it is going to be added to the tray with the vegetables and I'm going to reserve some for garnish. I have fresh sage that I've picked from my garden. I'm going to give this a rough chop. Beautiful friends, all of the written recipes are typically housed on my food blog. Season the vegetables with a pinch of salt, fresh ground black pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. Mix to coat very well. I'm going to get these in the oven, which is being preheated at 425. My beautiful head of cauliflower, and I just really want to prep this. Prepping the cauliflower is very easy. Trim off the rusty looking end and pull off any of the green parts. And then I like to cut this in one to one and a quarter inch thickness. You want all of the pieces to be flat. The flat surface is key to getting the maximum surface area browned for more flavor. Add the cauliflower to a sheet pan and be gentle when handling. Drizzle with avocado oil. I have one teaspoon of porcini powder, half a teaspoon of salt, also like quite a bit of fresh ground black pepper on this dish. So I'm going to use a good, healthy half a teaspoon. Mix it all together. I have my cast iron pan being preheated. Always preheat a cast iron pan. I like to do it on the stove top about 10 minutes on medium high heat, or you can do it in the oven. These are sizzling. Look at that. Wow. I usually remove the asparagus onto a plate. It will prevent it from overcooking. The quinoa is also ready. I give it a little fluff and cover and rest for 10 minutes. My pan's nice and hot, so I'm going to add in a nice layer of the avocado oil. Just carefully add in my flour. I usually cook the cauliflower three to four minutes per side. Then add them to a sheet pan and I'll finish them in the oven. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Get these on my sheet pan. And they're gonna go into the oven. For the dressing, I'm using one tomato and all I really wanna do is remove the stem. And I give them a quick chop. 
If you don't have vine ripened tomatoes, you can certainly use a handful of smaller tomatoes or whatever you have on hand. I love garlic in my vinaigrette, so I add in a few uh, garlic cloves. Fresh oregano adds perfect flavoring, but you could also substitute basil if you prefer or thyme. I also like to add half of a shallot, or you could use a whole one if it's small. White wine vinegar is perfect, salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna give this a little chop first. Oh, and I do like to add a touch of red pepper flakes to balance the flavor, and avocado oil works magically in the recipe. And it still has some nice chunks in it, which I love. Wow, it's perfect. It has a little tan because I don't want it too sweet. Wow, these look amazing. Nice and fork tender. I like to add some fresh tomatoes. These are Campari, but you could add whatever you have on hand. By the way, the excess vinaigrette can be stored in the refrigerator for up to a week. Cut up the asparagus into small chunks. Okay, all of my ingredients have prepped and the quinoa is looking amazing. 10 minutes rest time allowed the quinoa to become very fluffy. Okay, I'm going to use a big bowl here and I'm going to dump the quinoa in here. This quinoa will absorb this dressing beautifully. I add a couple of tablespoons. You could add as much or as little as you like to the quinoa because everything else is also going to get seasoned. I add in all of my other ingredients. You can add as much or as little of the cauliflower that you prefer. Just break them up into florets and add some dressing. I have some pumpkin seeds that I uh, toasted in the oven. They taste so nutty. Two tablespoons in here, you'll get a nice crunch. Give everything a nice toast. Serve in your favorite bowl and add more cauliflower on the top. How gorgeous! It's my favorite time! Eating tasty, it smells crazy good in here. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower is perfect, nice al dente. You can taste the pumpkin seeds, nice and nutty. The pumpkin seeds, wow! Oh my god, this recipe is awesome, it's magnificent, it's super delicious. You're going to love it, it's a must try. Until next time, happy cooking. Subscribe to our food blog to get notification whenever we post a new recipe and follow us on Instagram.